On day two of our journey, we learned about the plethora of permissions God gave to Adam and Eve and the one prohibition he set before them. And the Lord God commanded the man, Adam, saying, You may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Picture perfect. That's how the real world really was when God first created it. And as long as Adam and Eve chose to obey God's command to not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they could live in this perfect state forever. Now we might wonder, was God being kind of miserly and restrictive by prohibiting this one tree? No, absolutely not. God gave Adam and Eve permission to eat from any and all of the multitudinous number of trees in the garden. They had a buffet-sized selection of food to sustain and satisfy them. One, and only one tree, was off-limits. This tells us something about God. He is neither miserly nor stingy. Not at all. To the contrary, he is most generous. He delights to bless his children with an abundance of good gifts. Consider how he lavishly provided Adam and Eve with a paradise full of pleasures to enjoy. They enjoyed food and drink, fellowship and friendship, and the pleasures of sight and smell and sound, not to mention the satisfying sensations of taste and touch. Would they delight in the abundance of legitimate pleasures God had provided for them? Would they willingly obey his command? It's a question of loyalty. Would they be loyal to the Lord? If yes, then they would continue to enjoy this state of peace, tranquility, and harmony with God and with each other. Paradise would be theirs, theirs forever. But if they disobeyed, paradise would be lost. God clearly stated that if they sinned by eating the fruit from the forbidden tree, they would surely die. Tragically, Adam and Eve disobeyed. As a result, paradise was lost. And yet, in anticipation of paradise being restored, our good and gracious God continued to bestow many blessings upon Adam and Eve each day. And he continues to do so for us today. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. May we not try to find pleasure in the things God forbids. Rather, may we take much delight in the many legitimate pleasures God gives us. And may that increase our delight in God himself, who is the giver of every good and perfect gift. Every good thing you have is ultimately a generous gift given to you by our gracious God. So why don't you name some of these gifts that you have, thank God for them, and pray that you would take much delight in these gifts and in the one who gave them to you.